Hey guys, so I wanted to do a simple matte look. And I think this is perfect. We use the Too Faced Sweet Peach, Sweet, Sweet Peach palette on the lids. We got some lashes, no highlight, just bronzer and blush. And that's it. So if you want to see how I got this look, please keep watching. I'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow base, MAC Painterly Paint Pot. Just going to set that. I think I'm going to take the shade Puree. And this is a Sephora brush, but I'm not sure what type of brush it is. It's like a blended, blending tapered brush. And I've had this palette for such a long time now and it still smells so good. So I've switched to a MAC 217 brush and I'm just really buffing everything out. No harsh lines, just really, really blend it out. And to even smoke it out more using a bigger blending brush. This is a MAC 224. Okay, so I think I actually want to do my foundation next, so one minute. I am just going to go right in with my Makeup Forever. My previous video I was talking about, I wasn't sure if I like this or not, and I think like I'm liking it, but I was just expecting a little bit more full coverage. And that was why I wasn't like crazy about it. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my NARS custard. This is where you got to be like ambidextrous. Normally I'm not good at anything with my left hand. No. I don't get to do this that often during the week so that's why when I film I'm like going all out like I do this on the daily but I don't. Okay, since I blended a lot of that away right in here, the eyeshadow, I am going to redo it. I think bringing it in here really makes my eyes look bigger and gives me the shape of the eye um, that I really want. And I think a lot of the makeup that I've been seeing like on Instagram and YouTube, that is something that I haven't been doing. And I've been wondering like, why isn't it coming out the way I want it to? And so I'm gonna try this. Let's see how it looks. And this color, this puree color is such a beautiful, transition shade okay and I think just to lightly deepen it up I'm gonna take charmed I'm sure in the inner corner uh, the outer corner I mean 
And this is a Morphe blending brush. Going back in with puree and just really defining that. Well, not defining it because I don't have a lid, but creating the illusion of a deep lid. Now I'm just going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take another Morphe brush. This is just a little flat brush. And I'm going to take the shade Puree. This is like the perfect under eye brush or lower lash line brush. So simple, just these two shadows. Looks really good. And I'm gonna be using the mascara Too Faced Better Than Sex Waterproof. People were not lying about this mascara. It is amazing. And you can even leave it like this, but I I'm gonna try these new lashes that I got in the mail. They are the House of Lashes, and these are the Boudoir Light. <laughs> so I'm gonna open them up, measure them, cut them, you know. You know the deal. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna use never used this before but I've heard it so good the house of lashes adhesive the white tube please be good to me because y'all know from my last video my lashes were fucking with me okay I have high hopes for you please don't let me down this totally took the look up few levels okay okay so I think these are so pretty they're really light and I think the lash glue is gonna do me justice okay so for the rest of the face I'm gonna be using multi well, contour I'm gonna be using this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil and this is a lot lighter than any other bronzer I would have chose but that's what I was kind of looking for I was talking about in my last video how my bronzers all looked really red on me and I think it was because I was going too dark and I swatched this in Sephora and I was like this is too pretty to pass up. It's like the perfect golden bronze too. And for blush, I'm going to use MAC Peaches. Okay, and before we do the lips, I'm going to set with Hermit Decay Chill. And I'm not doing any highlight today. I figured it would be interesting to do an all matte look. 
So um, I just picked these up from MAC. The, this is the stripped down um, liner and I got naturally transformed matte lipstick. Ooh. Yes. This is so nice. It's like creamy with naturally transformed mm, brown goddess oh my god this is like the exact color of the lip liner almost okay I'm loving it So hopefully you guys like this matte look and I'll see you next time.